Hey, I'm FTFE and welcome back to the channel that does the stupidity, what Rick Sanchez did to the Galactic Federation. Today's episode of Flurfs are Idiots was going to be about Team Marvel, but he's going to have to wait till next week and this is why. In my short time on YouTube, I've come across hundreds of dumbass flurfs that say and do the stupidest of things. This episode of Flurfs are Idiots is to tell you the story of the dumbest thing a flat earth idiot has ever done. And let me just remind you of some of the stupid shit Flurfs have said and done already. Delroyd stood in his backyard in the rain, poured water on a ball and said it disproved gravity. Flat Earth Jesus said that the sun was an interdimensional portal and the moon was dug out of the Grand Canyon by giants melted into quartz filled with helium and put in the sky to mock us for worshipping the sun. Clucking warrior Anthony Riley played with an egg and proclaimed science and Bob Nadell accidentally proved the Earth's rotation, but blamed it on the heavenly energies. 15 degree per hour drift. Yeah, cheers, Bob. But no flurf has done anything as stupid as this before. This is the story of how Mike Kavanaugh and his fellow FE Corps board members fraudulently used the YouTube copyright system and personally attacked Red's rhetoric. <sighs> I know, right? This is episode 29 of Flurfs are Idiots. Mike Kavanaugh. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Find the Find the Thank you for joining me once again for a look at the lower end of the IQ range. This episode is going to be a little different as I'm going to start with just explaining what has been going on. I'll be brief so that we can get to pointing out how stupid Mike Kavanagh is, but for a more detailed explanation, please check out this hangout on Red's Rhetoric's channel in the link up there. So fellow YouTuber and debunker of Flat Earth Idiocy Slice Barcane has been doing a very good job of showing how Epicor are not only all stupid idiots, but also a fraudulent organization. In a series of videos, he exposed FE Corps using information publicly available on their own website. In an attempt to silence Slice Barcane and others, Mike Kavanaugh issued orders to the board members of FE Corps to use the copyright and privacy flagging systems of YouTube to attack any channels that say anything that could be seen as slanderous. He confirmed this in writing in an email conversation with Red's Rhetoric essentially saying that Red and Friends would be too tied up dealing with the internal systems of YouTube. And this was being done in an effort to protect the corporate image of FE Core. That in itself is fraudulent as slander does not fall under copyright. Mike Kavanaugh has also claimed that the use of the FE Core logo in Red's rhetoric's thumbnail alongside a poop emoji was against copyright. But after some viewers of a live stream did some digging, it was found out that the FE Core logo isn't even registered as a trademark. I encourage everybody to go and watch the videos that I've linked in the description as they better tell the story, including how FE Core's office is nothing more than a mail front, as confirmed by Sean Hufford in this video. Well, hello guys. This is gonna be an interesting one because guess where I am? I am at the headquarters for FE Core. And I'm going to point out something very interesting for a corporation. There is no signage on the back door that is FE Core related. Let's go around to the front of the building. Just to show what kind of a fraud this corporation actually is. So as you can see, this is the church that everybody sees when they search for the location for FE Core. They've been a corporation since December 7th of last year, officially. They established in September of last year. There we are on Maple Street in North Liberty, Indiana. There is the official sign of the building, Shamrock Holdings, which is, um, Oh, Rick Hummer's corporation. Here's the front doors. Again, no signage identifying it as the corporation headquarters of FE Core. There is a side door that has no signage at all.
and then there's a fenced in area. Nothing around this building identifies it as a corporation of FE Core. These guys are charlatans, frauds, liars, and scam artists. Mike Cavanaugh, again, I invite you to sue me for libel. With that, I'll have a nice night. As it stands at the moment, Red's Rhetoric's channel, Slice for Arcane's channel, Steve McRae's channel, and Astronomy Live's channel have all been hit with copyright strikes. And at last count, there was nine separate privacy complaints. And the big thing here is that YouTube are doing nothing. So I'm asking for your help. In the description of this video is a tweet that I've written to YouTube. I'd like as many of you as possible to retweet this out to Team YouTube. And maybe if enough of us speak up, they will hear it and stop their system being abused purely because some dumbass flurfs have found out to be the fraudulent scum that they actually are. As for FE Core, I've got a question to ask. Do you mean core, as in the center of something, or did you just spell core, as in the Green Lantern Core, wrong? What do you guys think? Vote here. Okay, so I think it's time to listen to some stupid stuff that Mike Kavanagh has said and point out exactly how stupid he is. I found an interview with a flat earther called Paul on the plane who asked this question. So could you take a couple of minutes and just time it to kind of tell us how did you figure this whole thing out that, you know, we don't live on a spinning orbiting space fair? Oh, Paul, how have I missed you for so long? Next week is episode 30 with Dee Marble, but you can be episode 31. If anyone has any clips of Paul on the plane that they would like to be included, then email them to fighttheflatearth at gmail.com. For now, back to Mike. I live at a lake here, and I've lived at that lake for all my life. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I was able to see the other side the <clears throat> entire time. You lived there your whole life, and you're only pretty sure you could see the other side. Pretty sure doesn't cut it, mate. In a debate about the shape of the world that you have pulled your entire life into, you're gonna to need to be more than pretty sure. You know, the programming is so deeply ingrained in their psyche that, you know, Well, it, not, it, it's not only that, it's not only that, you know, the, uh, the astronomy, the, 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 the prediction of objects in the sky works based on the spherical nature of the world, so to speak, you know, the, 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 the algorithms for placing specific objects in the sky works from a ball perspective. Yeah, it works from a ball perspective because we live on a spherical object and not at all on a pancake world. Mike has been saying how he is into astronomy. That means he spent a considerable amount of time looking at the sky and the movements that correlate to the heliocentric model and somehow has still come up with it's flat. Mike, how dumb are you? For a background in astronomy because now that is that is one tough nut to crack and to, to explain in another way you know there's still not a real um explanation for it how how it really works on a on a flat perspective from a flat perspective you know and if you if you change that flat surface into a spherical surface then the sky at least starts working if so you admit there isn't a model for these things to work on a flat earth you admit that when you put it onto a sphere, it does work, but you still think the Earth is flat. It's incredible that even though you can see it's impossible, you still believe it. It's um, very strange, you know, that uh, everything in the sky seems to follow the, the uh, a spherical uh, world. But, you know, <laughs> you only have to look at the horizon on a clear day and see that it's, it's not spherical. Sweet bejeebas, that's stupid. You literally keep saying that the heliocentric model, the accepted model works, but you refuse to realize the reality of the situation is that we live on a globe. And what you said there about the horizon is extremely strong evidence that we don't live on a magic space pizza, as a flat earth would not have a horizon at all. It would just be some indistinguishable blur, not a defined line like you can see on a clear day. The horizon is literally the point where the earth drops away. Yeah, Where yeah. Well, it, to... it, it, I was I was watching um, uh, Rob Skiba do a do a breakdown of the Apollo program on YouTube, you know, and I, I got so extremely pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I I almost threw my shoe at the television, you know. <laughs>
Rob Skiba is another flat earther I'm yet to cover, but he has a particular disdain for the Apollo program that put men on the moon. Moon landing deniers annoy me almost as much as flurfs. Getting man to the moon 50 years ago was one of the greatest achievements that we have ever done, but you guys are quite happy to just shit all over it. I can't wait for NASA to go back to the moon to see how you idiots just start shouting CGI and fake till you're blue in the face. Okay, I'll tell you what, the rest of humanity can carry on advancing, but you can't use any of the inventions to come out of NASA. Deal? These include infrared air thermometers, artificial limbs, light emitting diodes, scratch resistant lenses, survival blankets, memory foam, aircraft anti-icing systems, landmine removal, firefighting equipment, shock absorbers for buildings so they can survive earthquakes, water purification, solar power, massive advancements in computing technology, gold plating, structural analysis software, chemical detection, and much, much more. You're not allowed to use any of it. Now, guys like uh, my, my dad, for example, you know, he's a hardcore NASA believer, still is, you know, even with his son being the president of a flat earth organization. But, <laughs> but he is still, he's still a hardcore uh, spherical earther, so to speak. And I get that because, you know, he's, he's been spoon fed the, that narrative in his entire life. And Oh, no, man, I feel really sorry for Mike's dad. Honestly, if my son became a flat earther, I would think I'd failed as a father. I wonder if Mike realizes it breaks his dad's heart that he has such a humongous dumbass for a son. Um, in, an, in an actual uh, foundation form, you know, that's, that's interesting for um, uh, corporations and, and um, individuals uh, also to, uh, uh, to be able to donate specific uh, goods, you know, and you can, you can donate equipment or you can donate money, whatever you want. Um, and that's then tax deductible, or at least a part of it is refundable. Tax deductible donations? I think I'm starting to see where this is going. I'm not accusing you of anything, Mike, just saying that it would be easier to commit fraud with a registered company. People are doing laser tests and stuff anyway, so why do the Flat Earth need a company to do it for them? Yeah, uh, six months old and we're not done yet with the registration. Now 501c3 is uh, an enormous pile of paperwork that you have to fill in and um, we're still working on that and uh, as soon as that uh, registration part is finished then we uh, will still have to wait for the um, approval from the IRS but um, I'm hoping oh that we'll all, I'm hoping yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as of July the 31st they still haven't done it. They still haven't registered the paperwork to make themselves a non-profit organization. And you can check for yourselves on the non-profit database at the IRS. Mike, your legitimate organization is not legitimate at all. You and all of FE Core are frauds. I'm gonna leave this video here for today, guys. I know it's been a short one, but this was last minute stuff thanks to FE Core's fraudulent actions. Don't forget to go to the description and retweet my tweet to Team YouTube and make sure you get your friends to do the same. Now, just before I go, I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons. Your support allows me time to focus on my channel and do what's important, bringing you great content and fighting the flat earth. I want to say an extra massive thank you to my $200 patrons, Christopher Kane and Jeffrey Sloan. If you'd like to join and become part of the FTFE team, go to patreon.com forward slash FTFE. And thank you. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and get the notification bell on so you never miss anything from FTFE. Come back on Saturday for my first episode of Stupid Humans, where me and Dapper Dino take a look at the stupid world of young earth creationists. But for now, remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flatter. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat.